Hello ladies and gents, welcome back to another Pro Evolution Soccer 2020 video and today we're looking at the best corner kick technique in PEZ this year. Now I have checked out some other tutorials that have been online and got quite a lot of views and uh, they say 100% goal and that's 100% BS because I've tried it myself. So I was pr practicing for about four hours yesterday and I came across this technique that worked quite well for me. Um, however, it only worked against a lesser goalie as you're seeing in Norwich here. I think it was Tim Crawling goal. So not bad, but not brilliant. You know, a lot of players are going to come up against better goalkeepers than that. But this worked quite well if you've got, a, if you're playing against a lesser goalie. So all I do is set the uh, tactic up to be the six yard box. So all your players move into the six yard box. Put it on maximum power right towards the near post. Aim as far to the left and as you're seeing in here as possible. Just maximum power. Just tap the uh, lob pass a few times until um, the cross is activated. Then when the cross is coming in, you want to press shoot literally the second um, Pogba, in this example, kicks the ball. So, you know, as soon as it comes in. But you can see the amount of hassle it's causing the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper is like flapping it, pushing it towards his own net. Um, hitting the crossbar so lots of chances coming off this not always guaranteed a goal but it does create a lot of problems um, for the goalkeeper you can see him sort of struggling here and giving me some open goals so this is one of the techniques that I find quite useful but like I said when I pr tried this against like De Gea um, yeah it wasn't half as effective so good against weaker goalkeepers but perhaps not as good against those who are quite good in goal but you can see here the amount of chance that I was creating. I was creating chances every two or three corners, I would say. Um, you know, so these were the, the best examples that I could provide. And same from the other side. And it doesn't really matter what, what kicker as well. So I tried someone like Juan Mata, who's not got so much kicking power, thinking that it wouldn't be as effective. But you can see again, it is still quite effective. The actual goalkeeper put, punched it into his own net on that occasion. So this was, uh, <laughs> look at this, bit of comedy finishing there. Whilst this worked really, really well against the Norwich goalkeeper, I found that it didn't work very well against a real top goalkeeper in terms of De Gea. I tried various techniques and um, to be honest, it was all a bit inconsistent. Sometimes I'd score, sometimes I'd miss. But generally, most of the time, it would be a miss. I think I scored like once every every five minutes of training. So, yeah, the, the goals were really, really infrequent. And it does depend on the setup of the players. And that keeps changing all the time. It's never the same. So that's why you can't just aim in one particular area and hope it's going to go in the back of the net. Because it's always changing. No matter, even if you set it to six yard, dash, train. So, yeah, it was, it was a real mixed bag. So, yeah, the bottom line is there is no perfect corner in this game. And... Um, Corners in general are very, very difficult to um, to score from. You know, the, the the goal rate is far less frequent than it should be in uh, you know in Premier League and and La Liga. It's quite um, you know it's one of the most offensive tools that you can see here. I was trying a manual corner, Let's see if that made any difference. Um, but there's another one. Maybe De Gea is doing his best to throw the ball into his net. I was thinking, cool, this is working well. But then all of a sudden it wouldn't work so well. So it, it's almost like I had to keep mixing it up just to um, just to see what was going on. And you can see here the player positions all change um, quite frequently as well. So what I, what I would say is that the best corners are the straight ones. So don't put any bend on it, left or right bend on it just make sure it's straight into the box um, again it does depend where the players are if you are going to just kick it directly um, into the box but what I would recommend is this option here this is probably the best way to score um, from a corner I didn't score on this occasion but it depends on who you've got taking that shot so what you do is you set it to two options so press, press right on the d-pad and then left on the d-pad and that will set it to two options. And then you just do this one, two, which is your, what you're seeing here. So you play it into Ronaldo in this example. And then he plays it to Quadrado. And make sure you play it early enough. Um, and that allows you to get into the box further. 
and also create chances. And each time it's going to vary depending where your players are. So this time I got it really early and Quadrado is able to get free and put it in the back of the net. So let's just see that back again. So the first thing you need to do is select two options. So press right on D-pad and then left on D-pad to select two options and then pass it to the player in the penalty box as soon as you can. Then he will receive the ball and then you want to play a through ball to the player. In this instance, it's Quadrado, who's free. Now, he's able to shoot and score from this angle quite easily. However, sometimes it will be better to pass it. In the next example, what you want to be able to do is set it to six yard box. So you press left on D-pad and then down on D-pad. This will make sure all your team goes into the edge of the, into the, edge of the uh, six yard box. And then what you want to do is ping it out to this guy who can then shoot and score. Obviously, he has to have the ability to score from that range, which Zabala does. So, like I said, first set it up to six yards so all your team moves to the six yard box. Then you just want to hold player select and flick the right analog stick. This allows you to select a player. Pick up the AI player and drag him towards the corner flag and then ping it out by 75, 80% power. Take a touch to set the ball and then strike it. So my recommendation this year is to use the two options and that's going to give you a far greater chance of scoring or creating a really, really good chance um, against the AI this year. This one is purely just for show. So literally just hold the player, select, flick the round stick. This will select any player on the pitch. Flick the right round stick again without the player select button just to switch between the players once you're in that view and then drag their player away from the edge of the penalty box. That gives this chap at the edge time to control the ball without being closed down and then get a shot off into the corner of the goal. That's all from me, ladies and gents. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. Thanks a lot, guys. See you soon.